Prazda has more in tonight's Spirit of Acadiana. So the benches in Lafayette's Park San Souci were showing some age and the downtown development folks decided not only did they want something new, they wanted something pretty durable too. We figured we'd go a step further and make them reinforced so that skateboarders can use them uh, because that kind of use brings a lot of good energy to the park and we're really just trying to activate the park. The planning stage took about five months as a bear, but the build out was quick, taking only about a week. We partnered with our friends down at Ruckus and they helped us size them and uh, we kept typical bench height, 16 inches high and um, they still work as benches but now they can be used for kind of an underserved community in the area. Oh absolutely and the fact that they came and built these out and it's actually like meant to be ridden on helps a lot without having to worry about uh, coming out here and getting hassled by police or doing anything wrong. It's like you can just come out and have fun on your own. And another one of the beautiful elements here is we've got a dual use project. Is it for sitting? Is it for skateboarding? Skateboarding or sitting? Uh, we think these benches look good and the rest of the park is cement so it just kind of looks natural and they serve a separate function which really helps to bring some energy into the park. It appears to be a classic win-win scenario. Gotta love those projects that help multiple groups who often have diverse interests. Just again, I'd just like to extend my gratitude for all of this. This is super great and I really feel that it'll help everybody that lives out here keep doing what they love to do. Hunter Abert says he'd love to see more projects like this, so finding a balance is often a hurdle, but here in Acadiana, there are always possibilities. In Lafayette, Scott Brassett, KTC TV3.